Do you guys want to know what kind of tools that Supertech services use? And what kind of warehouse that we operate in? Well, guess what? I'm about to show you that right now. Okay, so all the stuff that's just sitting right here is pretty much for um, it's your, it's your typical copier tech tools. These up here, don't really worry about. Those are more for the mechanics. You can use this to do drill things, but um, the go-to. Now, for today's machines, you really do not need much. Honestly, a couple screwdrivers and a flathead will do it for you. Um, 10 years ago, it's a whole different story. You, you needed everything, all of this so i just want to show you guys what those things are but uh what we got first here is the milwaukee drill this is my daily driver i use this every single day it's one of the best drills i've ever ran across got two batteries with it charge it up i think it was over 100 bucks it is it is pretty expensive but this is my go-to i got a, a nice phillips bit on the end you can easily swap out bits and this thing does wonders. I, I even use it on boards, it has torque settings. This is definitely my go-to. Now, if I need to unscrew something manually, I'm going with Long Johnny, we call it. This is Long Johnny. Um, I don't know what brand, I don't know, it's kind of rubbed off there. I don't know what brand makes this, but I got it off the Caton website, I believe, um, or a friend of mine uh, uh, ordered it for me. But this is also another one that comes with me everywhere I go. I keep this in my regular backpack with me for situations where you need to get in long, and this won't do. But these two are my babies. Now, the rest of these guys, they go in my tool set, but don't come with me everywhere. Because in today's day and age, you just don't need them. But what you got, a pair of vice grips. You guys know what these do, just adjust them. Clamps things down. We got some snap-on tools here, just a regular Phillips. See, I got my long john, so I really don't need this one because it's a lot shorter. But really good tool. Snap-on products are really good. Just more Phillips, Phillips, shorter Phillips. Uh, flathead, I do use this one. Okay, we got a set of just regular Allen wrenches you may or may not need. And this used to come in really handy. This is a magnetizer. So if your if your screwdrivers or flatheads are not magnetized, you can take this thing and actually magnetize um, your driver, which is really good because you don't want screws dropping. That could be a pain in the earth. Let's get a little closer so you can see. All right, next, spring hook. These we still use, so sometimes you run across a spring that you need to remove and you use a spring hook. These can be really handy. You can also use a flat head, a really skinny flat head. I don't know if I have one around. Um, I didn't take that one out of my backpack. Actually, I need to, but a really skinny flat head will do as well, but um, spring hook, really cool. A little bit of lube, that we still do need. You always need a little bit of lube here and there. So uh, just keeps one on. This one has a, like a needle point head on it. So I can get this into any areas um, that's, that's squeaky. Oh my God, you got to be old school if you use one of these. All right, so this is, a, I don't know if it's an E-clip remover or C-clip remover, I forget, but we used to uh, have to remove clips off of fusing units. And it used to be a pain in the butt, but these dig right in, you spread them apart, and then you can get gears off of. I'm talking, this was when I first started 10, 15 years ago, but I used them for a long time. Not no more, thank God. What is that? I don't use you. Pair of scissors, comes in handy. These are like teacher scissors. This comes in really handy sometimes. Just good stuff to have. Little small Phillips. This is a must. Needle nose pliers. You need these bad boys, especially ones that are long. Long nose, needle nose. These ones I don't use as much, but these ones here also could get clips on for you. Really a must if you're a copier tech. Little snip, it's just a snip wire, it's not a big deal. Uh, you really don't need that. This is just a filer. Sometimes you have to file down uh, plastic sensors and other things, so it's always good to keep a filer on you. An X-Acto knife. This can also come in really handy when you need it. Make sure you guys can see everything still. 
All right, we're we're nearing the nearing the end there. Zoom in. Cool. All right, this is just some um, high temperature lubricant that you can use on fusing units and stuff like that. It's good to keep on you. A freaking multimeter. Now, if you do not have one of these, you are not a real copier tech. You should have one of these to check boards, um, you know, all kinds of pins or anything for voltage, ohms, uh, resistance, continuity. This has saved my butt a bunch of times. So, yeah, you always need uh, one of those when you're dealing with electrical issues. Uh, this is just an, out, an outlet tester. You plug it into an outlet and it just tells you if it's um, it's got the proper voltage or uh, actually I don't know. Uh, normally if it's just open, yeah, normal, bad ground, um, open, neutral, and, and if it's hot. It's not going to tell you if it has the proper voltage. That is done with the multimeter. Sorry about that. Next is just you got to have yellow rags. This is for dust. you got to have yellow rags and you need blue rags for like uh, the optics and stuff like that. That's, that's, that's a must. Let's bring these bad boys down here. Some of the other things you need, these are just your typical fluids, anti-static. Xerox makes this stuff. It's a lifesaver. Rubber rejuvenator for rollers or for getting things off of, um, you know, things that have toner stuck on them. All right, we've got some TriFlow. This is just lubricant that I use to refill my bottle. Always keep some glue with you. That is a must as well. Just some Windex and alcohol. Isopropic alcohol, not the drinking kind. This stuff does wonders. You always need some stuff like that. That's pretty much it there. And I can just show you guys our regular tool set though. This is just our regular ratchet tool kit we just bought. Uh, just bought one from AutoZone, a Duralast one. Um, use it for any stuff we're doing, fixing cars or anything like that. Torque wrench. Um, we've got a battery one we just bought. This thing, this thing works really good. And just a regular power drill. Yeah, sometimes you do got to drill out screws and stuff like that. And um, without a drill, it could be a pain. All right, so I think that's pretty much it. Other than a really small flathead, um, that's all you'll need um, as a copier tech. But uh, as I said before, today's day and age, you just might need a drill and a long john flathead, spring hook, just a couple things, some lube, and uh, you're good to go. A lot of things fit in the backpack, as you can see there. That's my backpack. Um, I'll do a video on that one day. Old school techs used to use something like that, where you had a bunch of stuff in there. Uh, but in today's day and age, it's just not necessary. So anyways, guys, I'm going to end that video. And uh, that's pretty much our shop here. Real small box, but does the job for us. And those are the tools that we use here at Supertex. So if you have any questions, please put it down in the comments and uh, give us a like, subscribe to our channel. Many more videos to come. Take it easy, guys.